welcome students to the second section of water vascular system in echinoderms in the section we will just discuss about the water vascular system in ophiuroidea the water vascular system of ophiuroidea is basically similar to that of asteroids but the certain differences are the so we'll just examine the what are the difference of ophiuroids and asteroids in ophiuroids the good example it is a bretista it lacks an anus and ambulacral groove at the same time the madreporite which is a basic part of the water vascular system is present on the oral surface whereas on asteroid these madreporite are present on the aboral surface and uh, the structures like the suckers are absent in the two feet of ophiuroids and also you know ampullary is also present pedicellar is absent and uh, the important feature of ophiuroid is that they can quickly move like a snake and hence the class name ophiuroid so this is a diagrammatic picture of the ophiuroid that the vascular system in ophiuroid this blue structure drawn here is a water vascular system in ophiuroid we will just see in the next diagram this is a diagrammatic view of water vascular system in ophiuroid as discussed earlier the main components of the water vascular system are madreporite stone canal ring canal lateral canal radial canal and pollen vesicle this madreporite it is present on the oral surface of brittle star and it is usually bears a single pore canal when compared to that of the asteroids it comprises of only a single pore canal which opens into the stone canal and this stone canal runs forwards and opens into the ring canal this is the ring canal the stone canal opens into the ring canal and the ring canal is situated in the groove of the aboral side of the jaw apparatus aboral side you can see the ring canal and the ring canal gives off to the pollen vesicles in each inter radius except the one which bears a stone canal all the inter radial region you can see the pollen vesicle apart on the inter radial region which we can see the stone canal the generally the pollen vesicles are accompanied by the long slender tubular appendages of unknown function known as a symbrot appendages the tibman bodies are absent in ophiuroids this radial canal in each radius gives into the ring canal this is a radial canal on each point you can see the ring canal It, the radial canal opens into the ring canal and then a v shaped lateral canal this is the v shaped lateral canal originate from the radial canal and it terminates in the tube feet in tube feet when compared to that of the asteroids asteroid tube feet it lacks ampulla and suckers in a furoid it lacks ampulla and sucker they are the reduced and inconspicuous and it is resemble that of the papillae they are the short locomotory and but probably sensory and respiratory in function more than the locomotion they help in sensory and respiration so this is a specialty of a water vascular system in ophiuroid so here the water enters to the madreporite reaches the stone canal reaches the radial canal it passes through the pollen vesicle it reaches the uh, radial canal it reaches the lateral canal and it ends in tube feet so that's all about the water vascular system in 
of your roids then we will just pass on to the next uh, water vascular system which is in class echinoidea class echinoidea comprises of uh, echinoids or uh, sea cell masses this ample aquifer system or the water vascular system in echinoids is uh, essentially like that of asteroids this is certain uh, characteristic this is a diagrammatic view of sea urchin or salmasis and this blue structures you can see these are the uh, water vascular system and this uh, echinoid uh, is totally covered with a cyst like covering with the numerous pores and numerous uh, spines and on the oral surface at the center you can see a specialized structure called as a aristotle lantern it is also called as a jaw apparatus here this is a complete picture of a sea urchin at the center you can see a small star shaped structure which is a aristotle lantern or it is a jaw apparatus This is a uh, detailed diagram of a sea urchin astrotel lantern. It is a complex chewing apparatus uh, seen on the oral surface surrounding the mouth. It comprises of uh, uh, almost 25 short pieces. The pyramid shaped structures they are called as uh, alveolus. There are the protractor muscles. There are uh, the alveolus. There is a chest portion there is a oracle portion there is a retractor muscles which are helps in the traction of this structures there is a pointed tooth like structures and these structures helps in feeding uh, by scraping the algae of the rocks so we will just pass on to the water vascular system this is a diagrammatic image of water vascular system the madreporite which which is a first portion of water vascular system it's present on the aboral side the aboral side and it leads to the ventral sinus through many pore canals it reaches the central canal this is a ring canal and this is a stone canal so the madreporite is followed by the stone canal which opens into the ring canal and you can see the pollen vesicle and uh, the ring canal gives off to the lateral canals and the radial canals the five pollen vesicles are present and the five tegument bodies are also present this is the lateral canal this is the radial canal and this lateral canal ends in two feet the lateral canal rises up to run along the upper side of the ampullary areas of the test region this by test region surrounding the test region internally you can see the so called uh, radial canal and the radial canal gives off the lateral canal alternately on both sides and each ends in the two feet consisting of ampulla podium and a well developed sucker so this is a, a diagram showing the movement of water the water enters to the madreporite this is a madreporite seen on the aboral side the water enters reaches the stone canal opens to the ring canal and these are the tegument bodies you can see the small small tegument bodies you can see the water reaches the ring canal from the ring canal it enters the lateral canal which it's arranged along the position of the ampullary groove and it and it gives off to the lateral canal and it ends in the two feet where again the suction force takes place and the organism moves so that is all about the water vascular system in echinoids next we will pass on to the water vascular system in holothuroidea 
when compared to that of the other echinoderms, holothuroids, lats, external madreporoid. It contains a two fetal suckers. Then for respiration, it includes a respiratory tree. It is dioecious and single gonad suspension or the detritus feeders commercial relationship with uh, pearl fish. So these are the, some of the peculiarities of class Holothuroidea. And good example, it is a sea cucumber. And this is the diagram showing beautiful picture showing the water vascular system in Holothuroidea. You can see surrounding the esophagus, you can see the ring canal. Here it is a stone canal and here it is a madreporite. It is seen internally. So internally madreporite followed by the stone canal. This is a ring canal. This is a polyan vesicle. This is a polyan vesicle. And uh, so we'll just go into the next diagram. This is a diagrammatic image showing the water vascular system in holothuroidea. So in most holothuroids, the madreporite lies in the coelom. This is a coelomic cavity and the madreporite lies in the coelomic cavity and does not communicate with the exterior. The stone canal usually is divided into different smaller smaller branches. This is a stone canal divided into small branches extending between the madreporite and it opens into the ring canal. This is a ring canal. The stone canal opens into the ring canal. And the ring canal encircles the esophagus. This is a part of the esophagus and ring canal encircles the esophagus. The number of pollen vesicle, this is a pollen vesicle, is usually one but in many cases uh, it, it may vary depending upon the different types of canoderms. That is, a, in uh, Cucumeria, only one pollen you can see. In Thion's type, you can see the four pollen vesicles. So it depends. There are the many other uh, different uh, organisms which comes under Holothuroidea, which contains up to ten pollen vesicles. Stigman bodies is absent in the ring canal. The five radial canal arises from the ring canal. Here only the one radial canal is shown which arises from the ring canal. It runs anteriorly, anteriorward and it reaches the anal region. It reaches the anal region. Sorry. So it reaches the anal region. Then this radial canal opens into a small short lateral canal. This is the lateral canal and which ends in the tube feet. This is the tube feet. The tube feet on the ventral side are provided with suckers. Here you can see the suckers and are used for locomotion. While on the other uh, certain tube feet which are present on the ventral side of this organism which is purely meant for sensory in function. So uh, this is all about the water vascular system in holothuroidea. Next it is